Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're checking out The King of the Wood. It's a pretty strange title, I'm not really sure what it's supposed to mean, but it's some sort of a first person shooter with some maybe spy elements to it. Maybe a little bit of intrigue. I don't know, I, I've just from the little bit I've seen, I take a little bit of a, like, 30 Flights of Loving slash Gravity Bone feel from it, uh, with a little bit more of the, well, actual, you know, gameplay, because it's got, you know, gunplay involved in it. And although, uh, what is it, uh, 30 Flights of Loving also had some gunplay, but it was largely functioning just sort of like a passive thing that you just played through, almost like an interactive cutscene. This one, you actually get a gun in your hand, you get to move around. Uh, so maybe, still picture Receiver meets 30 Flights of Loving. So that'll be what we have in our mind. Let's look at the credits very briefly before we actually start up here. So there are all the people involved. Very nice, and let us begin. So, as so frequently starts stories, well, we have our character in his office looking at his laptop, apparently. It seems like you would have a desktop at work, but I guess some people just bring their laptop back and forth. You might as well, I mean, you gotta be portable. And he's got his super futuristic looking gun on the corner of his desk. Now we can press 1 or H to toggle our gun. Bring that up. It's got a lovely little like alien style uh, counter for the ammo. There's a knock on the door. Oh, and we know our name is Bill Hudson. Interesting. Oh, and we can do iron sights, which is good to know. We've got uh, something slid under the door there. We'll look at that in a moment. We've got a flashlight with F. And we can turn off the lights if we want to be sneaky, I guess. Reminds me a little bit of the beginning of the original Matrix movie right now. Which is uh, maybe not a terrible thing to go after, because it was a pretty popular movie. I don't know if you remember. I believe I'd heard comparisons to Blade Runner with this one. I'm not sure if that's true. So check out that little photo there on the desk. It looks like a child and something in the middle and then like a white empty space that I can't quite tell what that is. It looks like it got washed out or bleached out or something. And some sort of censored government looking document in the inbox there. Okay, let's let's get a move on. I'm sure you guys don't want to see that much longer. So, uh, dear sir, our investigation is tracked down 0014180 to a small mansion on the outskirts of the city of Eugene, Washington. The cyborg has assumed the identity of Donald Anderson, interesting choice of names there, considering what I just said, and has been living in the, his residence for the past six months. Due to the proximity to your office, we wish to contract you for the retirement of, unlicen of the unlicensed cyborg. This is a low-risk mission, but we do advise you take general precautions. Sincerely, John R. Sepulveda. Nice name. I like that name. So let's, uh, see how our gun works. Oh, it does leave decals, which are nice. Can't access this filing cabinet, though. And so we've got some, some piano music coming out of this radio. I guess sort of coming out of the radio? I can't... Oh, there's a TV here? I didn't notice that before somehow. I must have looked right past it. It, like, blended into the wall or something. You can iron sights. Can we find any dead pixels? Is that one over there? I think there's one right there. Oh, we shot out the TV! Crazy business. Can we shoot out the light, too? No, that light's indestructible. You guys ever, like, stare at a ceiling fan and try to follow the blades along so they don't move? That makes me really dizzy. I'm sorry, I shouldn't do that to you guys. Anyone who just threw up, my apologies. That was not my intention, although I probably should have thought a little harder before I did that. Let's hit E and exit the door. Greeted to a little... Well, very much, I am see, using this a lot, but it's a uh, very... Uh, 30 Flights of Loving or Gravity Bone style little cutscene here where we're driving through what appears to be some sort of a Minecraft endless forest. Minecraftian, perhaps. Is that a term? Maybe that's a term. I'm going to make it a term now. It's very Minecraftian. And we are going to be arriving at our destination. Got some lovely stereo door closing sounds. I'll let things catch up. So we appear to be at the mansion uh, that we were told to check out in that little slip that arrived under our door. Uh, let's hit H and bring up our gun here. Interesting to note, that guy looks like he's either not finished being textured on his hand, or he's just wearing like a white glove, which is kind of interesting. Maybe he's a robot himself. Maybe we're robots killing other robots. So uh, in true portal fashion, we appear to have a security camera that follows us around. 
I'm going to retire that security camera and make sure I reload. Because that one bullet, man, that would have made all the difference. So we appear to have some sort of a keypad to unlock this. I have no idea what the password is. Uh, I could probably look around. And really there's not a whole lot to see here other than this mailbox. So I'm going to check that out in just a second. I do want to see if I can walk far off into the distance though. Because if you watch this series, you know how much I love to break all the games that I play. Uh, you, not even intentionally, but sometimes I just like to have fun with them. Okay, well, I've discovered some lovely god rays going from around these edges, which look great. Uh, but we've also discovered an invisible wall, which is something that happens quite frequently. As far as our aesthetic here, we're going pretty plain. Things are not overly stylized, but it does definitely have a sense of style. There is some sort of a noise filter that's covering the whole screen for some reason. Uh, but it, it's made up for by that pretty cool glow effect that's coming around that mansion and, as you saw, was around all of those tree edges. Anyway, I meant to look in this mailbox. I'm pretty sure this is where we're meant to go. To whom it may concern, I know who you are and I know what, I know what you're here to do. Wow, okay. thought that was going to say something different. Uh, all I can ask is for you to get back in your car and go home, but I won't try to stop you. The code to the gate is 0451. If only he knew... How defenseless I am to open that gate. Actually, I've tried uh, in my recording test setup here, I've tried to shoot this thing to death. It doesn't respond. I've tried to shoot the gate to death. Nobody even cares like that. I shot the security camera up. Nobody cares that I'm shooting at the gate, shooting at the windows. Like, it's a pretty lax setup we got going on over here. Oops, I didn't mean to actually hit that. So let's cancel that out. So 0451 unlocks our gate. And in we go. Look at that lovely tree. Now how much it costs to get topiary tar, yeah, topiary gardeners to come and trim that thing down to such a sharp edge. I'm sure it's very expensive, though. I mean, if you've got a mansion like this and a, a beautiful statue such as this, I'm sure you can afford it. Let's see this scales a justice lady a little bit. Is it justice is blind? I don't know. Fountain with some very computer tasking water effects. I'm not sure what that's about. No big deal. And a very sharp bush over here, which doesn't really add to the situation very much, but it does break up the color palette a little bit. What's going on over here? It's a slightly overly knee high wall, or higher than knee high wall. Let's do a little bit of roadie running, a little bit of sprinting at our door here, see if we can get in. Oh, we can. Excellent. Alright, so every single scene, it seems to put my gun away for whatever reason. I don't know who I'm concerned with offending here. What is that a picture of? I can't quite make out what that shape even is, but it's kind of scaring me because it's so pixelated. That is a highly unorthodox setup for a floor plan. I don't think I've ever seen a balcony in a cut out shape like that with a half split wow well whoever your architect is i'm curious to know uh okay i guess we just open this book to some random page i don't think you guys want to hear me read anymore after i did an episode a couple days ago it's just basically straight up reading this that actually looks a lot like minecraft that's a uh, weird texture pack for it or something but this is a little miniature tree here. So this tree doesn't seem very pixelated, but this tree is very pixelated. And can we open... Oh, we can indeed open this door. So I will probably be getting into some shooting match... Oh, crap. That scared me. What just happened? Where am I? I am so confused. Seriously, what just happened? Where am I? Oh, okay. Is this the main... Yeah, it is. Right? Yeah. I figured this thing was some kind of, like, vacuum for a second, and then I realized it had, like, a red, horrifying visor that it was coming at me with. I can shoot the wine bottles. That's always good. I can take the wine bottle. Oh, it makes me all dizzy. So you can make a political statement about alcohol, if you choose. Whoa, we got another one at me. Oh, jeez. There's two. I can't back up as fast as they can attack me. Oh, I really hope that drinking that wine didn't make me see all weird and messed up for the entirety of this playthrough, because that's going to make me not too happy. I'm actually just about done with that effect right now. There it is. Alright, excellent. 
Seems a little annoying that I can't back up as fast as those things can attack me. There's like a shell casing on the ground. That's a nice touch. I always like when they put shell casings in the game for whatever reason. Got a pretty blocky looking oven there. Another sad plant. Some very bright windows. I'm not touching the wine this time. In fact, I'm not even gonna give it the opportunity. Oh, and what did I find? But a key. So my stance against wine in this case paid off. What is this a picture of? I can't make out any of these pictures, but I guess that is fine, because I'm probably not supposed to be seeing some high art on these walls. Wondering if I could shoot that lamp to death. Apparently not. This is seriously one of the most unorthodox looking house plans I've ever seen in my life. There's this giant, like, plexiglass wall here. I mean, it's like way bigger than a window. This... this ceiling's got to be like 15 feet tall and then the doors are surprisingly small for how tall the ceilings are but I guess that does add to a sense of like loftiness to how big the uh, scale of this mansion is make sure I can shoot these things four times before they close in on me shouldn't have any trouble with that it's definitely got a little bit of a receiver vibe like I mentioned with killing these uh whoa what Killing these little droids here is very receiver like. What is he doing? It's like David Hasselhoff chucking tennis balls at the wall? I think this is probably a joke, but I am not aware of what the punchline is. It's probably like a YouTube video or something, but oh, what just happened? Door just closed be Oh jeez, it's poison gas! What do I do? I gotta get the key out of here. And I'm gonna probably die, because I don't know where to go. Take the key! Why won't he take the key? I guess maybe this is scripted, maybe I'm supposed to go in here and... No, no, it teleported me back out again. I, I don't quite understand what dying means when you just get teleported over to this, like, special room. I guess this game doesn't really want you to lose, which I guess is fine. Oh, I didn't realize you could turn the lamps on and off, that's a nice touch. Might as well leave that one on so the uh, owner of the house knows that I've been here. What is that a picture of? Every single picture, I don't know what it is. They're all like these weird grayscale security camera images. Like, I can't even tell. It looks like somebody that fell on the ground and left a big blood stain behind them. Maybe this guy's got really morbid taste and he's like putting up pictures of dead bodies on his wall. That is a grand staircase to be... Oh, hello. Didn't expect to find you here. I will back away. Almost walked right into that freaking thing. You can open this, flip the fuse box, I guess, turn out the lights. I don't know, I got a flashlight, so I'm all pretty much alright. Uh, unless my flashlight has batteries and I have to go collecting some pages. I don't think this is that kind of game, though. Oh, I thought I couldn't open that, but then it actually just opened anyway. I'm probably supposed to be reading all these books strategically later on, I'm sorry. Not really in a reading mood today. If you guys are really desperate to read it, feel free to just pause the video. I mean, I did leave the scene open long enough for you to do that. Is it an astronaut? What? Oh, Jesus. I'm just gonna hide a robot in there. He didn't even react. What's this? Oh, special secret button. What does that do? Nothing? I like this one. I can, I can understand this is just a pipe. That's a weird window. Does this stay pressed? I guess it does. Alright, so I guess I've accomplished my task by coming up here and pressing that secret button. Doesn't appear to be anything else going on here. There's a little nightstand, which the scaling is a little strange, and those are some sad pillows. If I tried to sleep in that bed, I'd have a miserable night. And just imagine all the tossing and turning you do on that thing. And it's hard as, like, a piece of metal. You hear the sound it makes? That's not the kind of bed I want to sleep in, especially in a mansion like this. And this glass is all cracked. This place is a little bit disheveled. Alright, so uh, what's down this corridor? Did, was this even here before? Did I open this? Are there going to be more booby traps? There might be. Uh, we're doing the all the glass is broken because we don't want to come up with like a rendering way to do that. You know, if you want to make glass... It doesn't have to be broken, it, like, to not see a reflection. Because, honestly, if we're trying to stay as naturalistic as possible, all you're doing by putting this effect on here is making it so there's way more reflection effects you have to calculate. If you just make it a flat thing, 
I mean, that's just one reflection. This is like all these different angles. I mean, think about all the refraction points off of these edges. That's just making your life harder for yourself, really. When it's like this, I don't know, I find that it's even less realistic. And you can get away with just making a mirror that doesn't reflect anything, and I probably wouldn't think as much of it as if you make all the mirrors broken. Now all of a sudden you've called attention to it. It's like if you remember in Dead End Cerebral Vortex, which, wow, if you can, but props to you. Uh, but that game had all these beds, like, all lined up in a row, and all of them had the same problem with the bed, like, they were all kind of messed up. And, uh, that, I don't know, it drew a lot of attention to it for me, so I would prefer that if you're gonna do it, just, like, don't call attention to it, just make it seem like it's normal, and... I guess there's a little less character to it then, but it's just weird that all the mirrors are broken. Unless you're making a statement, and that might be the case, uh, that all the mirrors are intentionally broken. If that's the case, then I apologize. Um, I'm also starting to wonder about what's up with these plants, because this one looks like it's just got extra white pixels in it, like that were missed when the developer went to like erase the pixels and turn them into transparency. Because it looks like, look, it's the same, this sprite is the same as that sprite is the same as that sprite, and it's just rotated in a circle, but then it just stops on this side. So I'm starting to wonder if maybe, is this like a graphics card issue? I don't know. I have a new computer, well, new-ish computer. It's not brand new, but it's new to me. Uh, so I haven't really sourced out exactly the differences. This is my first time using a, uh, a Radeon card in my history of computing. I've always been an NVIDIA man. But this computer actually features a Radeon, so that is uh, hopefully not something that's going to come back and bite me in the butt. Oh, uh-oh. Four! Oh, I didn't get four. This is getting mildly tedious. I'm not going to say it's very tedious, because honestly it could be a lot worse. But my impressions of this game so far are reasonably middling, I guess. I'm not exactly psyched to keep playing it, but I am kind of curious about where it's going. What's up with another painting that I still can't understand what it's a picture of? It looks very complicated, but very dithered. So the... yeah, robot, bot, there you go. I was hoping to fight, like, actual cyborgs. Are we gonna do that? That's super locked. There was a key in the gas room, which I never actually picked up. I wonder if I need to go back and get that. I'm betting I do. I'm not sure how to solve that gas problem. The Rockley Smile story. No, um, I'm not sure how to solve that problem because it reminds me a little bit of... Remember the instance in Resident Evil 1 where you walk in that room and the ceiling closes in on you? And then you're supposed to know... Like, sometimes Barry will just come and save you, but other times the ceiling only did that because the shotgun had to be switched with, like, the fake shotgun stock or something like that. And if you didn't know about it, then the shotgun or the ceiling would close on you and then Barry might save you. But, like, I don't know if it was a glitch or something. Sometimes that ceiling would just try to kill me, what, like, the first time I walked in there. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering it, but I think that's the way that was. So this time, instead of poison gas and instant death, we're greeted with a warm, welcoming fireplace. Apparently, this game has a strange sense of humor. Not sure what I did to solve that problem. I just sort of came back. Maybe you were required to have one hallucinatory death or something to experience... Uh, I don't know, the, the mourning loss of your former self. I don't know where I'm going with this. Let's go down this hallway again and see if we can get into those doors. This is a very, very large mansion. From the outside, I actually wouldn't have expected it to be quite this size. Uh, waiting for the robot to attack. Where is it? No, we just got more books and wine. Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, kind of skimmed over that one. Oh, I know, that's a, um, wait, what, uh, I know this band. An albatross? I think it's them. No, I'm gonna, I actually listened to this band, and I can't remember what that cover is from. It's like Crazy Grindcore. It's right up my alley. It's gonna drive me nuts. I think I have multiple albums by that guy. Definitely a strange choice of artwork, but maybe fitting. Alright, we've got that music coming back in. It's like a very odd color for an alcohol bottle. It looks like a bunch of mustard. Not a fan. 
spend a surprisingly large amount of time in this game shooting bottles of alcohol. He's got a little area for presidential pictures. What's going on in this game, man? Whoa, whoa, what are you? No more wine for this man. Alright, I don't know what's going on here. I could turn on the TV, maybe? No. So he's apparently having quite a ball just playing on that piano. I get this key. What's that gonna do? Oh no, I took the... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I got too carried away trying to pick up the key. What's the point of this flashlight? Also, I never really used that. So I can come talk to this guy who may or may not have a face. He appears to be quite faceless, in fact. Alright, can I... Can I do something to the piano to make him stop playing? I'm sure I could probably just shoot him, but I don't really feel like that would be the right thing to do. Well, I don't know, maybe it is. I mean, that's what I was contracted to do. How do I stop this thing? Can he... Can you get away from there, buddy? Oh, I can play piano with him by jumping into his face. There's like a missing key over here? What's going on? There's some strange business with this keyboard. Look at that. And then look at that. It's just a hole there. And it's several of them, in fact. I could wait for this guy to finish playing, if he's ever going to do that. I don't think he is. What's this? Can't touch that. Oh, what about this? He's got some kind of MS Word document open. Dear Diana, I've been alone my whole life and I'm tired of searching. I will look no further. If I can't be with you, I don't want to be with anyone. You complete me. There is no longer an empty, meaningless space. I thank you for that for you will never know how much you mean or. So, uh, it looks like he was writing that in Outlook. He was about to send her an email. You could shoot his laptop. Yeah, yeah, I'm a jerk. I guess she'll never get that email. Sorry about that. Kind of probably should have thought about that, uh, about that before I did it. So I thought we were coming here to shoot a cyborg. This guy doesn't seem very cyborg-like. Or maybe that's the plot. That guy looks like a cyborg, or doesn't look like a cyborg, but he really is. Gave me an awful lot of firepower, too, for just these little silly, like, mouse robots. I don't know, I can't figure out anything else to do but just shoot this guy, which seems a little sad. I was hoping for there to be maybe multiple endings. Maybe I should just, like, go out? Can I just go back to the car? I don't even know if that's possible. I kind of want to find out, though. Let's see the extent of this character and what the developer chose to let him do. It's quite a journey exploring this freaking mansion, though. It was quite large. Oh, maybe when I flipped the uh, switch behind the staircase, that's what turned off the gas. I think that's probably right. Sorry, I'm still trying to work on my being observant skill. Oh, I can actually leave the mansion. Oh, I guess that was an option. Very, very nice. Well played. So, uh, there's a lot of cops here. Uh, I can't control anything, though. And that is the end. So that was the King of Wood. I'm certain I could have shot that guy in the noggin, and that would have been the ending as well. Or maybe there was more to it that way. Anyway, I'll leave that for you guys to figure out. This game is totally free. Link's going to be right in the description. Feel free to go grab it. Can we exit back to the main menu here? Let's see. Well, we in fact could not, but through the magic of editing, it actually didn't make a difference because it just relaunched the game. Anyway, that was the King of Wood, as I said. Uh, feel free to go grab it. All the links and all the information is going to be right in the description, as well as links to all my social media and uh, any links you might find interesting or pertinent to the show. For example, indie-impressions.com. If you want to visit my website, I actually catalog all of the episodes from the entire series over there, as well as have a forum that you guys can join and chat about indie stuff. If you want to, I would much appreciate it, actually, if you'd stop by and check out what I'm doing over there. There's also a little 
a game giveaway system where if you participate on the website you can earn yourself a little virtual currency I like to call pixels and then you can spend that uh, towards purchasing what are normally paid games but I would give them away for free uh, so there's actually a few things on offer for that and all you gotta do is leave comments on the website it's pretty simple and uh, I'm working on other ways to possibly get you pixels as well but I think it's worked pretty well so far uh, other than the site though facebook.com slash indie impressions if you'd like to stop by and leave a like that is entirely up to you but it helps me out a little bit and then you'll get every day's new video delivered into your facebook stream as well as have any new news updates or contests uh, show up right there as well i don't tend to put too many posts on the facebook page but i occasionally do you know one or two a day at most well at minimum one but no more than like two or three um, other than that, though, if you'd like to get in touch with me about the possibility of trying out your game, if you're an indie developer on the show, the quickest way to reach me is either the contact form on the website, which I mentioned earlier and is also in the description, uh, or you can send me a tweet over at at Rockley Smile, which is also in the description, uh, and if you just want to chat, say hey, see what's going on, that is a great way to do that. I'm pretty much always tweeting, so I'm happy to hear from anybody. If you have any comments about the game, I'd love to hear them. I'm uh, curious to hear what your take is on all the plot and what we just witnessed. The pretty interesting, somewhat intriguing plot, I have a feeling a lot of it was left to the viewer to decide, uh, so I'd love to hear your theories on exactly what just took place, as I sort of just said a second ago. So that is going to do it. Thank you again for watching. As always, make sure you come back again tomorrow for another awesome indie game, and I bid you a lovely night.